Welcome to Penn Foster TV. Today is the first in a series of LinkedIn training videos. We're going to show you just how easy it is to get a profile up on LinkedIn.com. So first, go to LinkedIn.com. Next, under Get Started, it's free. You can begin setting up your new profile by typing your name, email, and selecting what you want your password to be. Then just click Join Now. The next screen, enter your zip code, choose whether you're employed or not, your job title, the company you work for, and then click the Create My Profile button. The next screen will be to add connections from your email address. If you know anyone on the list and want to be connected to them, just leave it checked and select Add Connections, otherwise you could skip this step for now. It'll ask if you want to tweet about your new account. And if you do, you can. Otherwise, you could skip this step, too. In the next part, I'm going to recommend that you choose the free version. You can use the paid. It tells you all the perks there. But with the free basic version of LinkedIn, you could do anything you need to do. And for the sake of this video, just select the basic version. You could upgrade later if you'd like. Then from there, the account wizard will ask you questions at the top. And that'll really help you fill out the profile. Anything you don't want to answer, you could skip. One of the steps that the LinkedIn wizard will ask is for you to upload a picture. I definitely recommend you do. A picture helps bring the whole profile together. As you update your statuses on LinkedIn, your connections are going to see your picture, and that's going to bring you to the forefront of their mind. You can really establish yourself and your personal brand that way. If you don't have a professional headshot, though, Mm, that's okay. You'll still want to use the best possible picture you can and just want to make a note real quick that the culture on LinkedIn is a little different than Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. So don't use any pictures of you with your pet or a picture of you drinking. Keep it professional as you can. The LinkedIn wizard will ask you about skills and expertise. To do this, you just start typing a skill and if it's in the LinkedIn database, it'll pop up below, and all you have to do is single click it to add it. LinkedIn has a neat feature where you can be endorsed for your skills by your connections. Basically, your connections are vouching to say that you're good at that skill. Your skills that have the most endorsements will display first. The LinkedIn wizard will ask you to type up a summary for yourself. You definitely want to do this. This will be the top part of the profile and the part you'll want to spend some time writing. Sell yourself and do what you can to make it sticky and memorable. Once you click that you're done with the profile wizard, you'll be able to edit your profile the normal way. And to do that, all you do is just scroll up to the top of your profile and click edit. It'll let you edit any portion of your profile, even specific jobs or projects that you've worked on. And from there, you can even add videos. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps get you set up on LinkedIn. We're going to do a couple more videos in our LinkedIn training series, so be on the lookout for those. If you could, click subscribe to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating the channel with interesting and fun things for you to watch.